I usually bite up here. Okay. Tell me if I'm too hard on that. Are they like 50% tension or? Um, I go I go between 60 and 70. Uh, some guys will, and girls will go up to 80 and 85. That's really hard. So right here. I'll just follow. I just want to get all that area covered. So I'll come right around here. You okay? Yep. She has a small foot, so I'm gonna have plenty of fan to work with. Right here. And we're good. All right, see how easy that was? I'll tuck this in. That's what's fun about the thinner bands, they'll break at the ends when you go to pull them. It got really frustrating. So now I have this ankle under compression, okay? To the medical term, I guess, if you want to call it that, would be ischemic therapy of some kind. All it's doing is driving fluids out of the joint, and we can move around, move the joint around with very little pain involved. And then when we take it off, blood just gorges to the area. And blood is the healing power of everything. Remember all the old gospel songs about blood healing this and that? It's the same thing. Medically, we can get blood to this ankle, you feel better, okay? So what I'm gonna do is find that line right here where the tibia ends and pull the bones away from it. So I'm just gonna feel around right about here, press, and just start moving it around. You feel a little bit of grinding in there? You doing any distraction when you're doing that? I am, I am. Right? Yeah. yeah. See, I'll take your, I'll squeeze, yeah. and that distracts the joint, yeah. and now I move it, okay? that? Yeah. I see we'll get most of that gone. So you go in here. And I'll start moving it. And see what I'll do right here, Rick? I'll put my finger. But pull. Push down on your thumb. Yep. Yeah. So are you doing any subtalar joint there at all? Or is it all dorsiflexion, plexion type thing? I'm doing both. Both? Doing every And e version and version too, do. yeah. Yeah. So, no. Basically but just any way I can move any it. Any I can move it. it. Any way I can get it. And you know, this way, it's not going to go. See how she's locked here? Yeah. So I can just do whatever I can. So as I'm your training partner, right? Just pretend, you know, um, that guy with the pretty face. So we're going to go right here. So I'm going to just move it around, force it, and be like, hello. Now, this is that lacrosse ball. Can you hand me that real quick? So I'm going to take, thank you so much. Then find that line right here. And I have to take and place this thing right here. And this will, I'll push this. It pops the joint open for me. So, feel that? Yeah. Isn't that cool? So you cut it in half so you get better control of the yeah, ball. Right? Yeah, exactly. Where's the ball? I took oh, it right okay, this okay, line, okay. right yeah, where this yeah. foot bends. Yeah. Right here. Okay? Sure. And that's not it. This is just a start. But you see that movement I'm getting? Just, just from doing that? And with the band on here, I don't have to worry about hurting her. You know what I mean? It, she'll be in discomfort a little. But it's not like severe pain. Now I'll take right here, go on the planar tendon, right here, and squeeze around that. You okay? Yeah. And see, she's not loaded right now. She's relaxed. So this is, it's not like she's, when you put your foot on the ground and roll it on something to diffuse the body, it will diffuse some, but you're, it's still loaded. Your foot still has pressure pushing down, so there's resistance. Okay? Right here, I have no resistance. You follow me? Because she's off her, she's sitting on her dupa, you know, <laughs> right there. And we go right here to the torsos. Pull around here. So the band's stabilizing everything. It's cutting off the blood flow. You're not getting no muscle pumps, so things aren't moving too much. Is your foot feeling numb at all? Which you said that? A little bit, yeah. A little yeah. bit, no. right? So just a little bit of pressure. And so yeah. now you're just trying to work all the joints to get all the ligaments and the fluids That's moving? It. That's it. That's all I'm doing. I'm right. giving it up. Works. Right. Giving it a big fluff job is all I'm doing. And you do that once a week for seven minutes? That's yep. all you do? Now, I'm not going to do this for seven minutes. No. Just a couple minutes, and okay. I leave it alone. Okay. And we usually lie down and elevate them up like that. And that's the seven minutes after you've done that? For a little bit. Yeah, and we just keep the timer. Because usually we'll wrap both and then start, okay? It's good for basketball players and any athlete. It, you just keep going down the roster. Yeah. Any sport you want. Because ankles are big in basketball. Okay. See that? And see, we'll just keep moving. There's one technique, if I was on a treatment table, it's a little taller, 
That's going to get me today. I know it's going to get me. So what I'll do is I'll take this right here and pull back here. You see that? Really push. You're using your uh, yeah. forearm mm -hmm. too. The smaller you are, the easier this is. Like you're going to do great at this because you have those long, <laughs> lean <laughs> arms. So the knee is straight to get the gas drops, right? You're not doing soleus or anything like that? Not yet. Not yet. Okay. No. All I care about is this ankle joint. We have stuff for the gas driving soleus later. I promise you. I'll shut up eventually, sorry. <laughs> you, just, you just keep taking entree bites. We're in an appetizer phase right now. Oh, man, you're just teasing me, that's all. Okay. And then after that, we'll just I take it off, okay? Easy stuff, right?